Hello, this is the Draw7 channel. Thank you for being here. And right now I'm gonna show some matches uh, with my Decidueye GX list. I believe Decidueye is still viable, however, some people are building it with a different approach, and I would say a slower approach. This is a more aggressive build, so it should be. It should win against Malamar and Buzzwall. It should also lose against Zorak. However, I think you can't win everything. And okay, we're up against Malamar. Alright. So my opponent's probably searching. Yeah. Bridget won. And he bridges for. Let's see. Alright. Uh, this is uh, a different build. Okay, so basically we need to avoid doing damage to it so it won't when it knock out my Lotus. Let's get all the Rowlets and the Decidueyes. All the Decidueyes are in the deck, so I'm fine. I think this is a fine start, nothing much to add. Next turn we can try to Lele for a Sycamore. And like 3 Melamars is a bit too much, I think we will need to reduce this count. Yeah, against this matchup you most likely will need to target the Melamars. They are a bit easy, like the prizes are easy to get, but you're not targeting them for the prizes, you are targeting them because they are the engine of the deck. Actually. I guess like you could put it you could put it that way. Uh, Alright, so he's yeah, he's feeding the deck while also discarding the energy, very nice. The Ultra Necrozma is dangerous, sure, and I might want to target it, but first let's evolve, yeah, but no, I will target, I will evolve, and I'm thinking I should Guzman a Malamar, while also damaging another Malamar, yeah, let's do this. Or maybe that Ultra Necrozma. I'm sure this is the right play, but I don't know where I'm gonna put the 20 damage. Yeah, I think like Ultra Necrozma is a threat, it's important to target, but I think I'm going to target the Nalamar. I think this is a better play. And break 2. So right now this Inke, hey, sorry, Melamar is dead. The front one, even if he, even if she retreats it, it should be fine for us. Shouldn't be a problem. And if I get another Decidueye, which I'm gonna Sycoma, so the chances are not that slow. I mean, not that low. Uh, we should be fine. We should get two prize cards. Let's see if he. If she gets a metal energy, because if she does, then Latios is down. No, she does not get the metal. Alright. Yeah, let's just see more. Okay, okay, this is this is very good. What we can do here is we'll do 30 to the Malamar we damaged before, but we will also also get a prize, a free prize, maybe. Oh, this is very good, this is very good. It's oh, timer ball, hope for the best. Okay, and my opponent concedes. So we were able to keep the pressure after taking out that Melamar. I would, uh, I would start damaging the other Melamar, and 
they could live in my opponent with all melamers without ways to recharge energy. I think this is the best way you can keep the pressure against melamer decks. So yeah, let's go to the next one. Alright, next, next match. I'm up against Dark and Psychic. Let's and I would like to start. Yes, this match is this matchup is very hard. This deck isn't built to win against Solark. Tomorrow I will post a deck profile, so I will explain why this deck doesn't really win against Zorak or has a really hard time. You can win, but it's very hard. Uh, I will explain why. I will explain uh, about the card choices. Uh, right now, let's focus on the match. We have a bad start. It's not super bad, but it's bad. But it, now it's not that bad. It's way better. <laughs> I'm gonna grab Coco here because Coco is a, a better attacker and why didn't I grab Aurelis? Because I want an attacker. In the other game I had Latios so I could just go full Rowlet. Uh Right now I don't so yeah. Okay we get that. That's fine. And we have okay, we have the CDOF. This deck is so consistent, like it's kind of strange, like it's not very super consistent like other decks, but it, it gets the job done. So let's evolve, and I think I'm gonna get another DCGI. Yeah, mm, yeah, I am gonna get another DCGI. And I have two energies. Okay. One energy spreads. So we get both and we'll see too. Hopefully we get full sun. No. Uh, because I expect like let's damage the Zoro. And because I expect him to evolve, I'm thinking I will start going full aggressive and putting the DC up front. I know this is strange, like other builds run a lot of max potions and and they expect uh, Zoroark to just attack and then they max potion so they don't commit the energy up front. Uh, I understand that but I'm going on a different mindset here. I want to damage it uh, the most I want to put the most damage on it as I can. Hopefully it works. I hope I'm not misplaying. I guess. And uh, I think I'm gonna save on her. I'm gonna draw seven because I really need the cards. Like this is going so fast. He already has one. The CGI. So yeah. I mean one zero. Let's start damaging the Zorua And then next turn I can use Aspirin if everything goes right Let's try to find Rowlet We do find the two heads so let's grab both And I am gonna attack with Coco now I think it's the better play so right now I can use Aspion to devolve both Zoros, Zoroarks. Next turn, of course, not now. <coughs> I get a prize. I said both, but I made a mistake. I do get a prize. And because I, I oh no, <laughs> so. Yeah, about Zoroark Garb. I don't think it's the best Zoroark uh, list, Zoroark variant in the format. However, I do think it's the one that hard counters my list. This one is like the worst matchup. It, it's okay that we found this this match, so I can really show not only the decks 
strong sides but the weak ones as well so you'll, prob you'll probably try to find the balloon I am expecting the balloon on the guard I do play two field blowers so oh well <laughs> Acerola Acerola is bad okay so you use this righteous beauty all right let's roll with this I think Zoro, Zoroark and Gullisopod, or Zoroark and... What's the name? Lycanroc. They are better in the format. But against my deck, this is the worst matchup, for sure. And yeah, let's end. Expecting to grab... Yeah, we don't find the field blower. I'm gonna hollow hunt, I think. Or should I? No, yeah. I should have a line. And 60. And let's try to grab Sycamore, the energy, and the Ultra Ball. No. And yeah, the Rowlet is better. But if I grab the Rowlet, I won't be able to Sycamore right now. I should grab. A shuffle draw, yeah, Cynthia is better. Uh, instead of Sycamore, I'm gonna grab Cynthia because I'm gonna shuffle Rowlet back into the deck. Uh, also, remember, I don't have a uh, another Decidua in the deck, but I can't find it. Ways to grab it. So let's see what he does. My opponent, in, my opponent taking his time. Okay. I don't know why he benched that Mewtwo. I don't think it will do anything. It won't do anything. But well, I guess it can be good. Alright, he has both Zoroarks. If I find Field Blower, like to be honest, I'm not expecting anymore to find Field Blower because I only run two, and because this is a very speedy deck, like the Zoroark, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna attack with my Decidueye with Razor Leaf, doing the most damage. And yeah, expecting for the best. I, I'm also hoping he whiffs the balloon. Like, of course, he's using mellow, so he won't. But I, if he can get the balloon every turn to lock my abilities, then I'm not taking this deck seriously and I misplay. So, if I am. Okay, we learned something new, but yeah, I hope he doesn't get it. Of course, I mean, not of course, I wasn't expecting field blower, but okay. And yeah, the bottom. Right, just make sure. So let's bench Rowlet. Get Bridget, nothing good. And just sit here. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to use Aspen in this match anymore. Let's pinch Latios because it's a good Pokemon to for when the CDI goes down. And just attack. Okay, so he has 180 damage. That means I can win. If I get a if I get a food blower, I can attack with Latios and two deciduous and knock this down. Oh my god. There are two cards that absolutely destroy my deck. Parallel City and Guard. 
and this guy is running off so I think I should take this out because it's damaged and I don't think Aspion will will be important I mean should be important but the game is going so fast I can't really keep up with this strategy with the devolution strategy sadly all right oh my god yeah this game I can't win sorry but if this was a normal like if I wasn't recording I would probably have conceded but because I'm recording I want to show like the whole match so we can learn from it and yeah let's put this guy oh thanks man let's put this guy Gartrix and I think I should start like I should have done this before I don't know why I didn't like this is such a um, man yeah Okay, so right now he needs a floatstone. I don't think it's hard for this deck to get a floatstone, but let's hope he doesn't. And he probably will. <laughs> okay, so this is another thing. My deck runs so many item cards that Trashland really, really is uh, like this. Is, this deck is the perfect counter for my deck, and I, I'm actually quite happy that I found this match so I can show this with the weak side of my deck. Uh, it's kind of similar to Greninja in this aspect. I mean both decks are similar but they're not the same gameplay style. But yeah, uh, the counters for both of them are basically the same, Garb and Parallel City. But Greninja suffers a lot less from Parallel City. I don't know if I should say a lot, but a less. It suffers less because it runs Brooklyn, Brooklyn Hill. Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn Hill. It runs the card, so uh, it shouldn't be. Parallel City is a problem, but but it shouldn't destroy the deck. But my deck doesn't run other stadium cards, so. Uh, maybe I could even add a a parallel so I can reduce my opponent's bench side. I would still be I would be uh, doing less damage with the CGI and every damage matters in this deck. However, I think it's a far uh, it's a fair trade, so it's a possibility of what you can run. Okay, so my opponent grabs Guzma and Floating Balloon. Oh, sorry, Bursting Balloon, I should say. Yeah. Um, okay, it gets my Dartrix. Yeah, he, it's, he's really punishing me hard, man. <laughs> I don't. I, I can't win, yeah. At least I took out one Pokemon from him. That's it's not a six-zero match. Let's attach the floor, the choice pin. If I get a, I don't find the field goal. Yeah, this is an interesting thing because when you have four of a card, for example, choice pin. If I had four choice pins. I would the game would be giving me choice bands even when I don't want it. When I have two cards of uh, like two choice bands, the game wouldn't give me uh, when I want. So three really is the perfect number, I think, and I should have considered it. But on the deck profile, I will show the list as is. I won't change. Like, I will go over it uh, and then like if you want to change go at it if you go there or something okay so he is 
is gonna take on. I'm not even count. I'm not even gonna count. I just hope he does not. And yeah, he didn't. He didn't knock this out. Just barely. He survived. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill guard. Okay, we take another prize, yay! And we target so, but it's over because I can't do anything about that. That trash damage, even if I devolve. I mean, I will try to devolve just to get grab more pride. Yeah. He gets the goods, man, and it's game. Well, that's it. GG. Defeat. Alright, so this was the second match against Zorak. So, yeah, like I said, you can increase a field blower. I don't know what you would take out, but yeah. Nothing else to add, let's go to the next one. Okay, last match. I'm up against probably Buzz Like. Which I was expecting to lose on the Zoroark, but this one I am expecting to win. Lycan Rock is the only real problem, but I think we can manage. This hand is fine. We stop with Coco, which is bad, so we will want to grab Latios. Even though we have an attacker, we will want to grab Latios. And so I'm gonna search for Bridget, and I'm gonna take, of course, the end and the Decidueye. Yeah, because I don't expect to get Decidueye so quickly that I need to keep it in my hand and I want the choice band to Latios so yeah let's go for Bridget okay and let's grab Latios and two Rollets this match oh yeah um, because Coco basically can get one hit knockout knocked out with yeah, uh, Buzz Walking Knockout with one hit. I'm gonna leave Latios because it can take a hit. And well, this type of Buzz Walk, the GX one, is easier than the other. But like the baby ones, the more focus on the baby ones list. However, you can still win. Uh, it's not very hard actually. Okay, we get okay. We get one decidueye probably, unless I waste both timer balls. That would be very sad. <laughs> okay, one. Okay, two heads. So we get Dartrix and decidueye. Very nice. And after that, I think I'll just second. Yeah, I'll grab a Lele and Sycamore. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to attack. Like, okay, I haven't attacked, he didn't do much damage to me, but let's take the, the initiative. Let's be the first ones to attack, to really attack him, because 30 damage to a DC Dry and Lavatios isn't that much, so. Let's be the first ones, hopefully. And we don't get. So right now, I'm gonna just Feather Arrow Buzzwall. I could use that on the Remorade, but I, I don't think. I think the damage will matter more. Like, the, the damage on this deck really scales, so it will matter more if I use on Buzzwall, trust me. And okay, this is very good for us. Why is that? Because 
Oh, and he attached. Oh my god. If we get a DC, I basically already had an another DC UI if I flip heads. And I probably will. Uh, I mean, maybe I won't. No? Uh, if we do flip heads, we'll get the CGI and we'll need only a choice pen. Uh, sorry, I DC to not the. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's very good. So let's grab the decidui and our opponent decided to give us a free prize with that rock rough and we'll we'll take that gladly. Alright, that's Cynthia. So we can maybe be ready for the next alright, yes. I'm gonna take out the Brooklyn Hill and the Floatstone. Um uh, we, yeah, I took the Brook Hill because I don't want more, like I don't want a Diancy or Baby Bus. And let's take our prize now. So this bus wall up front is with 140 damage, so I need 30 plus, yeah, I need Basically, I can next turn Guzma, the other bus wall, the one without damage, use Feather Arrow on this damaged one, and then hit for 30. So I will knock it out while also avoiding this, the baby bus. So it will be. I hope it, go, it goes perfectly. Let me, let's see. Okay, with Elixir, so. This is good because I really needed the lucky was alive. And he What's he looking for? Auxiliary yeah, makes sense. Man, auxiliary is such a good card, like I'll miss it so much when rotation comes out. Uh we'll Apparently have like Ludicolo, you which is basically Zorark, but instead of two draw, you draw three cards. But it's a stage two, so I don't think it will. Oh, my opponent! I think we will substitute. That. My opponent grabs another Buzzball, so he probably isn't playing Diancy or he tries them. So okay. Jet points for the other decision. Alright. Let's just do that. Go Guzma. Start damaging this one. And right now, like, I will knock this out. And I will start damaging the artillery. Why? I want to start damaging artillery because it's an easy price. Like, okay, we grab both. Uh, oh, okay, we grab both prizes here basically. We grab two, and I'm like knocking out this big bus ball. Like with 120 damage, isn't that hard? So I expect to win against this bus ball, but then I would have to knock out the baby bus ball. And to avoid that, I'm just gonna keep damaging auxiliary until it's knocked out. So yeah, and this is something. This is a reason. One of the reasons why I like this deck more than Greninja. It's because it can keep the pressure. Like Greninja, okay, you evolve two times, and then you need to. Like it's a different playstyle. You wouldn't simply target uh, Octillery with Greninja, you would target the other attackers. Like, it, with Greninja it's not about taking the free prizes, it's about uh, putting the damage where uh, you want so you can knock it out with his slash. I think that's the name of Greninja's attack. Yeah. So with this you can take more free prizes than with Greninja, I believe, like if you Disagree? Okay, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. 
but yeah that's how I feel about this deck so Guzman's trying to stall probably I think if he knocks out my Latios like he would need a fruit stone if he does get a fruit stone then I lose Latios but I don't know let's see if he does knock out Latios I will probably I'm getting low on prizes so this means Anne is getting more and more useless or less useful I should say so I think I will attach the grass in and then grab Latios in a DC and something else because I want to keep Latios and I want to keep playing Latios let's let's take this out let's attach yeah like I said before, I'm gonna keep damaging artillery. So, because it's it's an easy price, so I could uh, damage Buzzball, but it will probably knock me out next turn. So, I'm like, yeah, I'll have less decidui, so maybe it's not worth it. Because I expect him to knock out my. The CGI, I benched this Hallet. And let's grab Latios. Let's grab Red Candy, maybe. I know DC, but instead of Red Candy, I could grab the CGI because I already have more Red Candy. Yeah. Grab the CGI, but. Uh, I basically have games, so I think I can just grab Choice Man then. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, I already had, but this is fine because Latios is the MVP of this match, like, so basically if he ends me, I have more chances on getting Choice Band, which is such a good card, so it's alright, so far so good. Okay, we'll start, we can use Peace Ring, yeah. He'll start powering it up and probably knocking my decidui out with baby bus which is it's an okay play i mean it's actually a good play let's see what he does okay elixir fine hmm. and no change of planes yet that would if he does knock me out, I can start. Hmm, I don't know, let me see. I might want to use Lila against him because it's 100 damage. So, with two feather arrows, I can. What is it? Oh. Okay, okay, let's see if he. Oh. That's bad. <coughs> That's alright for me, I guess. So, change of plans. I will sink here and I will defeat, like, I will knock out this buzzword for sure. Instead of going for the activity, I will knock it out now. So, all he has right now is the damaged buzzword. The other Buzzball isn't doing that crazy damage, it's only doing 30 right now, so yeah. And he can't use this ring anymore, so we're on a very good spot. So right now I can just use Razor Leaf and win, if he keeps Buzzball on the front, I don't think he will, but maybe. Okay, uh, well, I don't know if my opponent simply is betting I don't have the energy. Well, sadly for him, I do. So, we just finished the game. Oops, yeah. 
Feather Arrow. I mean, Razor Leaf. For a good game. So, I'm curious to see if my opponent was running Diancy and Regirock. I missed those guys. Let's, let me see if he has the, the cards here. So he was running Regirock and Diancy, so he probably prized them, I guess. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, give it a like, show it to a friend, and I guess see you next time. Tomorrow I will be posting the deck profile, so look forward to it. Thank you very much, and bye.